Hey Onda, I'm Jenny. Thanks for watching today. If you would like to follow me on my journey in moving from the US to Mexico, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Today I am telling you all about my adventure to Phoenix, Arizona. I went all the way there to not end up getting my temporary residency for Mexico. I originally thought I didn't qualify to go ahead and apply for my residency because many countries have a requirement where you have to live there so many days per year and if you pass that um, requirement, they cancel your residency. But in Mexico, I can live there one day a year. I can live there every day of the year. They have no minimum requirement. So it's better to go ahead and get that taken care of. So that way, it's just a smoother transition um, coming back and forth to Mexico as I'm building the house, especially since they have tightened down restrictions on tourists. Um, it used to be that they would automatically give you 180 days and unfortunately people have taken advantage of that. It would just come to the US-Mexican border every 100 days and go right back and so they're cracking down on that. And unfortunately that has affected everybody else who has honestly just been going there as a tourist and not trying to live there under the radar. I had watched a YouTube channel, shout out to the Kinetic Kennens, um, that said Phoenix is a good consulate to go to. If you didn't know, you have to start the process outside of Mexico. It does not have to be in your home country necessarily. It just cannot take place in Mexico. Um, they said that they're pretty flexible there. Um, for me personally, I guess it doesn't matter how flexible they are because I meet the financial requirements. But for those that are kind of like on the fence with the requirements, uh, it's best to find a consulate that's a little more on the lenient side. So I booked my flight and my accommodation and I got there the night before my appointment, woke up, had breakfast, then headed off to my appointment. I had no idea what to expect, so I kind of wore some dress clothes, like casual enough that I could walk there, it was an hour walk, but nice enough to say, hey, I'm here for an interview. Um, wasn't necessary. Everybody there was super casually dressed, so now I know for next time, because if you finish the story, there will be a next time. Um, so I get there and I said, hey, I'm here for my appointment for my temporary residency. I already knew something was wrong as soon as I saw the guy's face when that came out of my mouth. He's like, oh, you have an appointment. I'm like, yeah, I made it online. Here's the confirmation code. And he just had that look on his face like, the kind of look like, oh, we don't even offer online appointments or just some, it was obvious that something was wrong. So he said, well, actually the lady that you need to speak to, she is very, very sick and is out today. He's like, let me go talk to someone else. So he's gone for a couple minutes and he comes right back. And he's like, yeah, I mean, she's really the only person that can help you and she's out sick today. Whoa, 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 buddy, okay. You do you not understand? I flew here from St. Louis. Like I told him this, I flew here from St. Louis. I had a, an accommodation last night. Like, is there anybody else that can help me? Like trying to get it across like without being rude because like they're doing me a service and they're going to be approving me. Like I didn't want to come off as rude, but also like, you know, I just don't live around the corner. I can't come back in a few days either. So he sent me to speak to another lady and I explained this whole situation. She's like, I'm sorry, she's the only one that does that. I'm like, you know, do you have a boss or somebody you can ask? I flew all the way here. I had to ask off work to come here, blah, 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 blah. So she asked her boss and was told no. I'm like, well, can I at least leave my documents? That way, and I'll even leave my passport, I don't care. Documents and passport. And the lady will come back and she can look through them and then mail my passport back to me. She asked her boss again, no. So at this point, I'm getting very frustrated, okay? Like, I am choking back the tears because I'm the type, if I start crying, like, I can't stop, okay? So I held it together, held it together barely, but I did. And I still was being polite. I'm like, well, can you guys help me with my flight to return since I already bought one flight? And she's like, I'm sorry, we don't support that kind of service. So I left very, very defeated, but also not surprised because honestly, that is Mexico for you. 
There is a lot I love about Mexico, but if there's one thing that is going to drive me nuts is the lack of like, um, what shall we call it? Customer service. Like nobody knows how to operate a business and make it go smoothly. Um, like I get that she was sick. I hope she's feeling better. But there has to be somebody else there that does the same job. Like, who trained her? Like, somebody trained this lady, right? Somebody had to have been able to help me. But no, that's, that's just how it is in Mexico, okay? This, this is not just because I am a gringa. If you are actually in Mexico, it's the same thing for foreigners, for Mexicans. It's just how they operate. I mean, if there has to be a positive to the situation, one, at least I was able to get that flight using my miles and I didn't like pay for it out of pocket but still it would have been nice to use the miles for like a vacation. And two, I got to try some really good vegan food in Phoenix. Like I would go back there just to eat some more. The food was really good. And I also got to catch up with my friend Bryce who recently moved down there. And assuming the lady maybe had COVID, I waited a couple weeks and then I emailed the consulate. I said, hey, I hope she's back and doing well. Let's set up another appointment. And she responded and we set up one for March 7th. So look for a part two to this video coming soon. Thanks for watching and take care.